Hi all, this is your girl Natasha. And my tea kettle has brewed over once again. And I'm serving tea. A different flavor if you like. Milano cookies. Lorna Dunes. And an assortment of finger sandwiches from Panera Bread. Your girl loves Panera Bread. And... I'm serving an assortment of cheeses as well. And croissants. <laughs> I love a croissant with butter. And, of course, chocolates. Russell Stover's. And Sugar Free. For Jay Wilson. But, oh, he's out of town. Glad you made it safely, Jay. But you others can enjoy sugar-free if you like, as well as regular chocolate. Now, moving on. Your girl wants to do a review on the gentleman's panel tonight. I thought it was very interesting. The guys did a Halloween special, so it wasn't a particular subject that they were talking about. So I thought that was cute. Everybody was in their costume. Rebel Sun, QB. Um, Rebel Sun, your girl forgets sometimes. Rebel Sun, QB, L. Teddy. And of course, James Colwell, a.k.a. Milan Treasure. And I loved their costumes, all of them. It was cute. I thought Rebel Sun was going to be in Treacy costume, but he wasn't. I think he was giving me a, a light print. And, of course, James Coleswell, I wasn't quite sure what his costume was, but it was lovely. I think it was giving me Gone with the Wind, my favorite classic movie also. Any of you who are into old classic movies, Gone with the Wind. James was looking very much like Scarlett O'Hara, Scatty Catty. James looked like he wanted to read for filth. I thought he was. But he gave that old Capricorn spirit. I'm unbothered. Or I'm waiting. Whatever. <laughs> Shout out, James. So, I found the gentleman's panel cute tonight because it was a Halloween special. And, of course, Shay was thrown, which I had expected. Subliminals and all of that. Some of them I didn't get because I don't keep up with everybody. So, some of the subliminals, I didn't get who they were throwing shade at, and, and some I did. But overall, tonight, it was a Halloween special gentleman's panel. So, I say it was wonderful. Yeah, it was cute. It was enjoyable, and it was nice to see the guys in their costume. So, that's my review on the gentlemen's panel. They all were in harmony together, having fun with each other. And that El Teddy, me and you seem to enjoy the same things. But I'm not going to be nasty on here. <laughs> but I will see next week. What they will be talking about. Of course, Jay Wilson will be back. He's off on his escapade. Have fun, Jay. In Hampton Roads. <laughs> Enjoy the game. So that's my review on the gentleman's panel. That's basically what it was about tonight. Now... I'd like to talk about something 
that, like I said, I was going to talk about transgender women. Now, this is a different thing. And I kind of want to get Olivia, Olivia, um, Miss Olivia the Oracle's opinion on this. Okay, because in my opinion, Miss Olivia, black parents, because I saw this on Tamron Hall show. She's my girl. I love Tamron. And she's a different breed from Wendy Williams. I watch Wendy. Of course, I have to watch my Wendy. But then when I want information and talking about different topics, I watch Tamron. So Tamarin had a woman on her show, and um, the woman didn't give her name, of course, or her child. And what it was dealing with was the woman and her husband were having work divorced now, okay? And they have a little son. He's five or six. And, um, of course, they didn't give his name, his whole name. His name was Avery. And he wanted to be called Luna because he felt like a girl. And she said that he started showing, he started showing feminine quality of the other gender. And um, he was born, he's a little boy, and he keeps telling his mother he's a girl. And she dresses him, let him dress up in girls' clothes. And um, he's about 10 now. And the problem was the father um, didn't get visitation rights to take him out of town or whatever. The father moved. But when he's with the father, the father gives him hard time. And the mother, he's upset the father because she lets him express himself. Or I say her, should say herself, the little boy. He wants to be called Luna. He told his mother he's a girl. And he's five or six. And then they showed him at ten. And he still wanted to dress like a girl. But the issue was, should young children, if they feel like the gender, other gender that they, other than what they were born, should the parents start giving them treatment for hormones to help them transition to the gender that they feel? And the father is upset because the mother, you know, let's dress him, sit him up and let him wear the princess dresses, toys. And he dresses like a girl and he is very adamant when the mother tries to put something on her that he is a little girl. So it's a big issue, the father and the mother, because the father makes him, when he with, goes with the father, the father doesn't like his son being feminine and wanting to be a girl. So it's a big issue when they're divorced. And they're Caucasian. And I find that Caucasian parents accommodate their children when they're young. Uh, most of them, if they when they're young and they say that I feel I'm another gender. They accommodate it much more than black families. Black families would have a fit most in most cases if their child expresses that they're another gender than what they were born. You rarely see a black mother accommodating her son if he tells her no I feel like a girl and he's adamant about it you know where that'll go with the black parent 
But it was this white woman, she accommodates her child. She lets him dress as a girl and whatever. But the problem is starting hormones. The mother doesn't know whether she's going to let him start on hormones. Of course, he's in therapy and all of that because if you do it the right way, you have to go through therapy and all of that. And then they will start the child on hormones. But in my opinion, I think that the child should wait until they're 18 and maybe up even to 20 to transition or even give them hormones. I think that for a lot of reasons before, you know, they want to, the mother's thinking of letting him, her son, her daughter, start hormones before puberty kicks in to stop the puberty of the male and it'll be female. And I think it's that's too early. I don't think that that's wise because to make sure that this is what the child wants because they could start the hormones and then who knows, decide that they don't want to be that gender. So it's a very fine line. So I agree with the father that the mother shouldn't start the child on hormones. And not only that, when you stop, say for instance, a, a um, boy, little boy, if you start him on hormones to be a little girl, it stops, when puberty hits, it stops certain things. Okay, certain male characteristics. But the problem is, when they get older, like 18, 19, and 20, if they stop the puberty process, then when they want to go to, want to transition, if they want to go all the way, there's a problem. Like this show called I Am Jazz. Her parents let her start hormone treatment when she was like six, seven. They started. She would have the est the testosterone blockers, and they had her on that for years, so she didn't grow beard or her voice changed, and of course her breasts grew big. And um, she stopped the puberty of being like a male. And she was transitioned to female. But when she was 18, having had the hormone since she was a child, it was a problem. And the problem was, when they wanted to construct the vagina, being that she had started hormones as a child, she wasn't really fully developed. Her penis wasn't big. It wasn't as big as it could have been had she stopped the hormones. She had not started the hormones. So that meant when it was time for surgery, it was little. Her penis was little, so it wasn't much skin and to construct the vagina. So they had to take skin from her leg or whatever to add on to construct the vagina because her penis was, it wasn't you know, fully developed. And that's the problem, taking hormones. A young child taking hormones and stopping puberty. Because when they get older, if it's a boy turning into a girl, 
If they have the surgery, that's the problem they run into. It's not enough skin because the penis basically stops growing. So, in Jess's case, it was small. So, they had to take skin grafts from her body. And I think something from her colon. And so it it was it was a it was a problem for them to construct the vagina because the first time she had the surgery, it it ripped, and then they had to go and reconstruct the vagina because she was that small, and it it was it was horrible, but. I think in the end, it turned out right, but I don't know if the season started again to see if she had the second surgery and then was able to have the vaginal plasty, which is like a cosmetic surgery. It's two procedures when you have the sex change. So that's why I don't know if it's a good, I know. I don't think it's a good idea to give the child hormones. In that case, I think the mother should not let him put her put her on hormones. And because she's too young. And then when she gets become an adult and want to have the surgery, she may not be fully developed like she would had she just not taken the hormones. And then when she has the bottom surgery, it'll be no problem because she's fully developed and they have the they have enough skin and penis to construct the vagina. So that was the big issue. And a lot of people were saying they should wait until the mother should wait until her daughter becomes a teenager. I mean, an adult before she starts hormones. So I found that very interesting because I say yes, yes. Do not start a child on hormones, male or female, no. Wait until they're 18, 19, 20, and they are sure that this is what they want to do. And then start the hormone treatment when they are sure. And then also, it'll be enough to work with, and it'll be no problem. So... The prom the question I'm asking is why our black Afro American parents you don't see that very you don't see it very often you actually you don't really see it it's always a Caucasian couple that accept their transgender child and help them transition as opposed to black with their children. So that was just something I was, information I was throwing out there and um, giving my opinion. And um, maybe Miss Olivia the Oracle will chime in and say what she thinks about how black parents don't come forward or they reprimand the child or telling them, no, you have to be like this. Why so many black people are against it or won't accept it. And then on the other hand, white people accept it and try to help their child in most cases. So... That was really a question I was posing, along with giving information about why it's best not to start a child on hormones. Because in the long run, 
It may be problems when they go for the surgery. Well, all, I hope that you've enjoyed your Halloween. I did. I didn't give the kids any candy. Huh. It was tornado warnings, thunderstorms. It was horrible. It was frightening. But anyway, that's all I had to say. I love you all. And until next time, I'll be back when my tea kettle brew is over. I love you guys. Like, 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 like the video. And I love you all. And until next video. Mwah. Love you guys. <laughs>